Yo, what is up everyone? My name is Ron Tucker. I am here today collabing with Heavyweight Nation as we get ready for Final X on June 10th in Newark, New Jersey. Today we're going to be focusing on the men's freestyle division and kind of ranking those from 10 to 1. So without further ado, let's go ahead and kick this list off, starting off at number 10. At number 10, we have the 70 kilogram matchup between Zane Rutherford and Tyler Berger. Zane Rutherford enters this Final X matchup with a bid after finishing with a silver medal at last year's World Championships in Serbia, while Tyler Berger enters this matchup after becoming a U.S. Open champion earlier this year in April, defeating Hayden Hidley and Sammy Sasso both by one point. The last time that these two wrestled was at the uh, 2021 World Team Trials, where Rutherford won by technical fall. So... Uh, this matchup is going to be very um, interesting to say the least. I do think that Rutherford does have the edge over Berger. Berger put on heck of a show at the U.S. Open, beating Sasso in the last eight seconds. Um, but I do see Rutherford going ahead and winning this uh, series 2-0, putting himself back in position uh, to be on the podium again at the World Championships. At number nine, we have the 57 kilogram weight class. Uh, where we have Thomas Gilman taking on Zane Richards. <laughs> Thomas Gilman comes into this matchup with a bit of his own as he took a silver medal finish at the World Championships last year, uh, going up against Zane Richards, who had a phenomenal run at the U.S. Open this previous uh, uh, April, where he ended up beating Siriano in the finals 3-3. Three to three. In the previous two matches that these two have wrestled, Gilman has beat Richards both times by a, a total score of 23 to 2. So in, in this case, I do think that Gilman does have the edge over Richards. Richards did have a heck of a tournament. Once again, he did beat Siriano, but I do think that Gilman is, um, is in the better shape and he, he will beat Richards 2-0 uh, in this series. And at number eight, we have the 125 kilogram weight class. We have the matchup between Gable Stevenson and Mason Paris. Gable Stevenson comes into this matchup after a phenomenal and dominant run at the U.S. Open uh, just a couple months ago. He completely put on a show, beating Mason Paris um, by technical fall. Uh, but Mason Paris did come back and take third at the Open, then come uh, came to the World Team Trials last month, and he went ahead and beat Wyatt Hendrickson by a score of 12 to 11, and then beat G-Wiz uh, in the finals. And as previously stated, Gable did beat Paris at the U.S. Open this year. Um, he has beat him several times before uh, in folk style and in freestyle. But I do look at this as a King Kong Godzilla kind of situation. When we look at King Kong, he's a very strong, um, you know, he can win. He can, he can prove to you that he's dominant. Um, but at the same time, when Godzilla's around, uh, you know that he can't win. So right now, King Kong is Mason Paris. Godzilla is uh, Gabe, Gable Stevenson. And I think that Gable's going to go ahead and win this series 2-0 um, and head off to the World Championships. And at number seven, we have the 92 kilogram matchup between Zahi Valencia and Michael Machiavello. Valencia comes into this matchup after a tough loss to Aaron Brooks at 86 kilograms at the U.S. Open, with Aaron Brooks taking that second and final uh, spot at that weight class for Final X. Valencia did bump up to 92 kilograms where he went on to win the World Team Trials uh, Championship beating Colin Moore by technical fall. Whereas Mike Mack is coming into this matchup after winning the US Open uh, beating Aiello, uh, Nate Jackson, and Colin Moore um, winning that 92 kilogram US Open Championship. These guys have not wrestled as Valencia has been down at 86 kilograms for most of his freestyle time, whereas uh, Mike Machiavello has been up at 92 kilograms and above. Um, so in this case, I do think that Valencia is the better wrestler between the two. I still think Machiavello is going to give Valencia a very hard time at a higher weight class. The weight difference is going to matter, but I do think Valencia will win this series two to one. And at number six, we have this 79 kilogram weight class. We have the matchup between Jordan Burroughs and Chance Marsteller. 
Burroughs comes into this matchup with a bid after finishing with a gold medal at the World Championships in 2022. And then Marsteller comes into this matchup after winning the U.S. Open just a couple of months ago, defeating Deeringer and McFadden, putting himself in position for a rematch of the 2022 Final X matchup he had with Jordan Burroughs. As I said, Burroughs and Marsteller have met before at Final X. Last year, they both wrestled each other at the 79 kilogram weight class, and Burroughs finished that series two to one with Marsteller picking up a criteria victory in match two against Burroughs. I do believe that Burroughs is capable of going ahead and putting this thing to bed to rest um, in just two matches. But Marsteller is a very good and competitive wrestler. So I do think he has the ability to get one again under his belt, if not possibly upset the king himself. But I do think Jordan Burroughs is going to go ahead and win this series 2-0. At number five, we have the 65 kilogram weight class matchup between Yanni Diakamahalis and Nick Lee. Yanni comes into this matchup with a bid after a silver place finish at the World Championships last year. And Nick Lee has got his uh, spot secured after a hard-earned U.S. Open Championship where he defeated Bo Bartlett 10-10, where Bo Bartlett initially did defeat him. But after a uh, review, it was overturned later on and Lee went on to defeat McKenna in the finals, putting himself in a position to face Yanni uh, for a chance at a world team spot. These two have wrestled each other uh, twice before, the first time being when they were much younger, but the most recent being at the 2020 Olympic Trials uh, for Tokyo, where we uh, saw Nick Lee beat Yanni 16-8 after jumping out to a quick 8-0 lead um, and, then, and then them exchanging points towards the end of the match. But I do think that Yanni is the better wrestler here. I do think that it's going to be a lot closer than a lot of people think. But I also will say that Yanni is going to go ahead and finish this series in two. So I have it 2-0 Yanni um, heading off to the World Championships. At 61 kilograms, we have the matchup of Vito Arujal and Nashawn Garrett. Arujal enters this matchup on a hot streak, coming off of a 2023 NCAA uh, Championship national title and an OW award after defeating Dayton Fix and RBY, then heading off to the U.S. Open where he defeated Nashawn Garrett 9-2, then also defeated Nathan Tomasello and Austin DeSanto handedly in the finals by Tech Fall. He puts himself in this final matchup, uh, final X matchup against Garrett, who got here by taking third at the U.S. Open, and then heading off to the World Team Trials, where he ended up defeating Tomasello, DeSanto, and Dayton Fix, um, putting himself in a matchup against Vito Arujal. These two are very familiar with each other. They have wrestled each other a few times before at the RTC Cup in 2020, where we saw Arujal defeat uh, Garrett both times by two points. And then they both, um, you know, are, are both from Cornell. They both have practiced together. They have trained together. So they're both very aware of what each other are capable of. Um, I do think this is going to be a very exciting series. Um, I think that uh, Arujao, like I said, is on a very, very hot streak. But at the same time, Garrett's on the streak of his own after the World Team Trials. And when Garrett gets hot, he tends to get, um, get on a roll. Um, I do see Arujao coming out on top, though, winning this series 2-1. to one. And at number three, a matchup I know a lot of people are excited for is the 86 kilogram matchup between David Taylor and Aaron Brooks. David Taylor coming off of a gold medal at the World Championships last year gets a bid into this matchup against Aaron Brooks, who fought his way at the U.S. Open, defeating Mark Hall and Zahid Valencia. Although these two have not wrestled uh, one another on a national scale, we all know the history behind these two as David Taylor was one of the best wrestlers at Penn State just a few years ago and Aaron Brooks was the one of the best wrestlers at Penn State um, just these last few years. Both multiple national titles uh, going up against one another. I do think that Aaron Brooks has an advantage that most other people wouldn't and that's that Penn State coaching staff. Um, he's going to make it very difficult on David uh, and make it a very tough series. I do think David Taylor has still got it in him, though, and I think he will pull out this series win over uh, Aaron Brooks 2-0.
And at number two, we have the 74 kilogram matchup between Kyle Dake and Jason Nolf. Dake comes into this matchup after a gold medal finish at the World Championships last year, and Nolf was able to secure his place in this matchup after winning the U.S. Open and defeating Keegan O'Toole and Vincenzo Joseph um, in, in route to another rematch uh, against Kyle Dake from last year's Final X. These two have wrestled each other quite a few times over the last couple of years. The first time being was during the pandemic on a NLWC card where Dake beat Nolf 5-0. And then in 2021 at the World Team Trials, Dake again beat Nolf 11-0 um, pretty handedly that time. Uh, then these two wrestled again last year at the Final X um, in 2022, where we saw Dake win again, um, win the series 2-0, but we saw that Nolf clearly closed the gap. Uh, this matchup is so high because uh, Dake being one of those people that said, you know, the, that was the young bull that came and took out the, the older the older bull in this case. Um, Nolf has the capability of doing that. Nolf is a very talented wrestler, and I think he's going to give Dake a run for his money. But at the end of the day, Kyle Dake is just that damn good. And I think Kyle Dake is going to go ahead and win this series 2-0. But Nolf has the ability to make that outcome different. And at number one, we have what I think is going to be the series of the weekend, um, if not the top series, one of the top series. Um, and that is going to be the 97 kilogram matchup between Kyle Snyder and Jaden Cox. Both of these wrestlers are coming into this matchup after um, medal finishes at the World Championships last year. Kyle Snyder finishing with a gold medal at 97 kilograms, whereas Jaden Cox finished with a silver medal down at 92 kilograms. Uh, Jaden Cox um, was able to qualify for 97 kilograms after winning the U.S. Open over Isaac Trumbull in the finals, um, putting himself in a world a uh, medalist matchup um, between him and Kyle Snyder. Snyder and Cox are very familiar with one another um, have they, as they have wrestled each other since their high school days. Uh, their latest matchup between them came at the Rudis Plus Super Match uh, where we saw Kyle Snyder pick up the first match victory by a criteria win of 5-5 five to five, and then picking up a 7-1 to one victory over Cox um, in the second match, winning that Series 2-0. to zero. Um, Even though that Snyder did go ahead and win that Series 2-0, I do think that Cox has the ability to win at least one match, if not possibly upset Snyder. Uh, I still think that Snyder is going to go ahead and win this series, but Cox has the ability um, to, you know, win and he has that that drive that makes you believe that he can win. So I, I, I'm sticking with Snyder winning this series two to one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Cox go ahead and um, win this over Snyder. And that concludes my rankings for the men's freestyle matches that we're going to see at Final X next weekend. I'm so excited for all of the matches that we're going to see, including the Greco and the women's matches. It should be a phenomenal weekend of wrestling. But with that being said, my name is Ron Tucker with Heavyweight Nation. Y'all have a great week and let's get ready to enjoy some great wrestling.